And as the sun goes down on another beautiful day here in the world of Feed the Beast, we ponder the beauty of simple things in life. Simple things like a waterfall, a merry cliffside, and a sweet thumb calf room built on top of it. Yes, that's right. As I said in my last video, I'm going to be working on getting Thomcraft up and going. And I did. And I've built this sweet little mamma jamma. Let's see how she goes. Ah! Alright, let's get in there. And Wonder Twin powers activate. Form of Darth Tamanis. Hey, it's me, Darth Tamanis, here in my awesome Thomcraft room. Um, I said I wanted to build it outside. I said I wanted to build it kind of out in the middle of nowhere. It's not necessarily out in the middle of nowhere. Um, it's kind of nearby my base. I've used these awesome uh, open block tanks here. Yay, open block tanks. Uh, you know, I did a lot of research because I've never messed with Thomcraft before. And I uh, just kind of wanted to see... Um, how much space I would need um, so I figure I would have kind of like my work table and things like that over here um, basin over here um, it, this would be where I'd have that uh, infusion altar um, and all that and the jars around there and the pillars around there and there is an annoying something or other over here hey buddy you die now. Let's see. Any more annoying something or others? Not that I could see of. So I intentionally built it to where it's not accessible. Um, except through the, the portal. I mean, of course, I can always build a, a little stack up there. Or fly up there. With my bat. My bat powers. Um, but yeah, there it is, standing, so beautiful, I like it, I like it a lot. Alright, so let's clean some of these things up, I've got a really bad runny nose, <clears throat> and all, all that other fun stuff that goes with it, so I apologize if I sound like I'm sick, it's cause I am. Alright, so, um, as I mentioned before, I'm not sure if I really mentioned before, I have no experience at all with Thomcraft. Um, I, I really, um, my very first Feed the Beast series, it got to the point where the guy who was on the server, um, Nubivore, Nubivore73, um, he's not making videos anymore, but anyways, he was an expert at this stuff, and, like, right before that server kind of shut down due to inactivity, he and I were going to make like a Thomcraft tutorial where he would, you know, kind of walk me through the basics of Thomcraft and all that fun stuff. So, I don't have him here. Um, I just have myself and the videos of people on YouTube. Um, so, I've seen, uh, uh, you know, bits and pieces of stuff. And I've found out that you need um, to make a book and that this book is actually... Um, like the key to doing just about everything so we're gonna get some birch wood we're gonna get some iron um, we're gonna get some books and we're gonna get this sucker going all right first thing that we need is a wand um, a very very simple wand the basic wand of Thomcraft um, it's what's called the iron capped wand and I'm sure you've seen this before um, like I said if, if you've um, done anything at all in Thomcraft, um, you're more ahead than I am. So the recipe for the iron capped wand is the iron cap that I just made, show you how to make, on both ends and then stick in the middle. Boom! Got a iron capped wand. Next thing that you need is a bookshelf. Now let's see how to make a bookshelf. I should not know this off the top of my head, shouldn't I? Right, this is just like the basic thing 
um, you know, good old vanilla Minecraft. How do you make a bookshelf? We should have all of this ready to go, and we do. Okay, so in order to make the Thumbnamacon, you set down your bookshelf, and you take your iron capped wand, and you right click it. <gasps> you will never receive the Thumbnamacon! Yeah, name the movie. Name that movie. All right, so you open it up, and you see there is not much in here for me to um, figure out. It's not much going on. Just shows you all the different things that I can do. The things that are blinking are things that I can't do now. The things that are solid, I believe, are things that I can do now. And this just will tell me everything I need to know about this stuff. It'll tell me the things that I can craft, things that I can't craft, um, and all of that goodness and goodies and good stuff. So, instead of me sitting here reading all this, trying to figure it out, um, I'm going to, off camera, read a little bit into it and figure it out, then we'll see what we need to do next. So, according to the Thumbnamacon, it says the first thing that I need to do is make a thermometer. Hmm, thermometer. I want to know how my thumb is doing. So I will research a thermometer. Uh, it looks very easy to make. You don't need anything fancy. You just need um, some shards. I believe you need, let's check. Thumb. How do you spell it? Oh, there we are. There you are. Okay, pull it up. So you need, yes, one of each of the shards. So we can do this very easily. There's six different types of shards. There, and you find these in natural world gen. So if you're mining or you're running a quarry, um, that's how you find them. Um, the different types are fire, air, order, water, earth, Entropy. So we'll put those in here. And we'll add our shards. And we'll add our gold. Oh, and Darth forgot glass. So let's get a glass block. Boop, boop, boop. All right, put this sucker in there. And what did I do wrong? There you go, apparently I had the order wrong of all the shards. Got to be very specific. All right, so here it is, thermometer, and boom. All right, now with this thing, what you do is you walk around and you scan objects. And it will tell you what it's made of. And you get research points, and you just walk around, and you research things. Sounds fun, doesn't it? And if you can't research something, it tells you you do not have enough research points. Hmm, fun stuff. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around and start researching things um, and all that. I'll probably get some sleep and, and go go to bed and all that other fun stuff. Okay, so I went out into the world and I scanned a bunch of stuff, scanned a bunch of stuff. All right, so next thing I need to do, according to the Thalmanomicon, is to, um, I may be jumping the gun a little bit, is to build a research table. Now, in order to build a research table, it's really, really easy. It's just wood slabs and wood planks, and you need two of them. So, there's my two tables. The other thing that you need to make a research table is a... What's it called? Scribing... 
Let's see, research table, research table. Yes. Scribing tools, scribing tools and paper. So let's make our scribing tools. You need feather, you need ink, and bottle. All right, so let's put this in here. We got the ink, and we got a feather. Look at that. Got scribing tools, and I got paper over here. Hey, get back here. I got paper over here in my... Okay, so research table. You set the two tables down, and apparently you click on it with your scribing tools. And boom. Now I have a Thumbcraft research table. Now you see that the things that I have scanned, the things that I researched, pop up right here. Very cool! So these are all different elements, things that exist naturally in the world and combination thereof. Um, I'm not even going to pretend like I know what I'm talking about because I don't. Um, so these are the things that I got. That got them. They popped up on the list. Thank you, um, Thumbometer and Thumbonomicon, for telling me all this fun stuff. All right, so then you use this stuff and paper, um, and you can make things with it. I see this is, what's what's up with this? Why is this, why is that lit up like that? Let's click on this button and see. Oh my goodness, what is this? Well, this looks kind of, uh, yeah, kind of crazy. So we're just going to back out and run away and see what the Thumbnomicon will tell us what to do next. All right, so uh, the other thing that you can do with this awesome little stuff is the thumbometer is you can walk around and it shows you things that aren't really there. And these things are different nodes. We have an aura node. Let's see if we can shift click on it and it tells us that it is Terra and it is Ordo. So let's pull out my wand. Um, other cool thing you can do is with your wand, you can point it and right click it and it will fill up these elements. So you can see in the top left, these elements are filling up. Now, if you drain it all the way, there is a chance that it will not, and I'm just repeating things that, that I've, I've heard. Um, if you drain it all the way, there is a chance that you will not ever get that node back. But there's also a chance that it will um, regrow. But you see, as I was draining it with my wand, it was going down as well. So I'm going to wander around and look for some other nodes, see what we got, see if I can get my wand my wand on. Okay, I'm going to uh, keep scanning things and keep running around and give me a chance to kind of explore my world, explore some things around. Um, but I understand that I can um, put this back in here. I can actually make a pencil. Yeah, I can make scribing tools to go with me as I go which is cool. There we go. Glass bottle. Let's put a glass bottle. Let's put link, ink, not link, and a feather. And look at that. I've got scribing tools. And if I keep scribing tools in paper, sometimes whenever I discover things, it will tell me, hey, you discovered stuff, and it'll write it down and all that other fun stuff. So that way, I can continue to learn how to do this stuff. So I'm going to explore around a little bit, have some fun, explore my area. Again, I'm not trying to be an expert on this. I really am just trying to figure this out. Um, it looks like a whole lot of fun. Um, so as the sun goes down on another day here at Feed the Beast, this is me, Darth Tamanis, saying thank you for checking everything out. Hope you um, enjoy. If you have any tips or anything on how to do Thomcraft better, let me know. Um, but for now, I'm going to go scan, 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 and see what I can learn. Um, and then that will probably help me do other things. All right. Thank you very much. Hope you're having a good one. Bye-bye.